episode, we're looking at some more crazy footage of brazen thieves who got caught on camera. This first video comes out of the Westfield Mall in Canoga Park, California, right outside of Los Angeles, and it might be the biggest smash and grab robbery ever. You can see in the video, the gang of over 20 thieves wearing gloves and covering their faces with masks rip through the Nordstrom store and steal literally everything in sight. The thieves run out the front door with thousands of dollars worth of luxury handbags, purses, suitcases, and high-end clothing. You can even see one of the thieves dragging a display case out the door that had a security cable attached to a handbag that was on it. One store employee can be seen walking around during the madness and waving to customers and staff off camera to stay back away from the chaos. According to witnesses, the gang of thieves used some type of spray, possibly bear spray, on security guards who confronted them. Police are still investigating the incident. Frustrated commenters on YouTube wrote, Bro is literally dragging a dressing rack out the store. What is going on here? And it's time for America to fix this already. This next video comes out of Oakland, California. You can see a sneaky thief creep behind a van and open the back door while the driver is filling up gas. The thief grabs two suitcases and jumps back into a getaway car that was waiting right behind it. The car speeds off as the driver who has his bag stolen desperately chases after the thieves, but it's too late and they get away. This video comes out of San Francisco, and it's another smash and grab video where brazen thieves steal suitcases out of cars in broad daylight. You can see the masked thief smash in the windows of a Bronco and drag a suitcase right out of the car while the getaway vehicle stands by. A witness films on their phone and gets a shot of the license plate but it's likely of no use. Most of these crimes occur using vehicles with stolen plates, which makes it almost impossible for the police to catch these criminals. This video isn't quite a thief in action, but it does show some pretty clever ingenuity from a player at an arcade who may have bent the rules just a bit to make off with the grand prize from a claw machine. You can see in the video, the player drags a device alongside the glass and is able to manipulate the best prizes inside the machine with a device he's using from the outside. The device he's using is a magnetic telescoping pickup tool normally used for picking up things like loose screws or bolts when doing work like construction. But this clever player was able to use it to score himself a brand new pair of AirPods, an iPhone, and a whole bunch of cash. This next video shows a disgruntled car owner who took getting his repossessed vehicle back to a whole new level. You can see in the video, the driver is able to catch up to the pickup truck on the highway and drives right up next to the bed where the towed car was being held. The passenger manages to climb out of his window and makes it onto the truck bed. Amazingly, he's able to get into his car and drives it right off the truck bed and onto the road, taking his car back and giving a big L to the tow truck guy. In this clip, we can see a brazen robbery in broad daylight take place in Inglewood, California. The thieves pinned the car in using their own vehicles to box the victim's car in between them. The assailants then forced their way into the vehicle and made off with $500,000 worth of diamonds. You can see in the video, one of the assailants climbing in through the driver's side rear window to steal the bag quickly and then climb back out, and then the thieves take off. Even crazier, the robbery took place only 0.1 mile away from the Inglewood police station, but clearly that didn't seem to deter the criminals. In this clip, we see a group of children ride up on bikes and shoplift from a gas station in Beverly Hills. The pack of teens roll up to the gas station on their bicycles and stroll into the store. They at first pretend to be shopping, grab a few drinks from the drink fridge, then suddenly they take off running with the stolen items in hand. This flash mob crime is just one of many that have been plaguing California with criminals who have no fear of getting caught for shoplifting, or even if they do get caught, the punishment is so light it doesn't even phase them. 